Can you tell me a little bit about your relationship with Dylan and what happened? Well, I was going out with Dylan and then one night he pressured me into sending him a photo that I shouldn't have sent and, well, he cheated on me so I broke up with him and he got angry at that so to get back at me he sent this photo of me around and it ended up on the internet and so now I don't know who's seen it or how many people. What were you thinking when you pressured Holly to send you the photo? I didn't pressure her, I, um, I asked her and she's my girlfriend so, you know, what's the matter if I just want a photo of her? Photo to your mates? It's just one mate, and um, he was stupid enough to go send it around to everyone. Why did you send the photo to one mate? Why'd Holly send that photo to me? What were you thinking when you sent the photo to Dylan? He promised that he wouldn't show anyone else, so I was thinking that it'd be alright, that you know, he wouldn't show anyone else and he said that he loved me and it was showing him how much I loved him too. Well, what were you thinking when you sent the photo to your mate? I could, you know, I was going out with her and she just broke up with me, so, you know, why can't I get back at her in a way? So that's why you sent the photo to a mate? To get back at Holly? In a way. What have you thought about Sid this has happened? Then I shouldn't have done it. Because if I just said no and stuck to that, then I wouldn't be here now. And none of it would have happened and no one would think of me any differently. Well, um, I know, well, when he got it, other people were asking as well, and then um, I'd already seen it, and he'd already seen it, so it wasn't really, like, just Dylan and Holly anymore, so I'm like, it doesn't really matter, so I just thought, if she didn't want it to be seen by people, she shouldn't have sent it, it's her fault. Now that everything has happened, what have you thought about since? Um, I don't know, I think they're going a bit over the top. It was, they were going out, their boyfriend and girlfriend, that's expected, isn't it? Dylan, who do you think has been affected and how? Um, I've been affected by it, by my self-esteem and confidence, I don't want to be around anyone, I don't want to trust other people and I just think that everyone thinks of me differently because of what's happened. Well, afterwards Holly was just like, kind of, I didn't really see her for a while and when she did come back to school she just wasn't herself, it was just, she was really closed and didn't really want to talk to anyone. Her behaviours changed, her personalities changed, she was very outgoing, sociable, happy young girl. Now she's withdrawn, depressed, I find it very difficult to talk. My relationship with my mum as well, having to tell her what had happened. And obviously our relationship, the family relationship, we're finding that it's not easy to just sit and talk about things. We have to be very careful. So, out of all of this, what's been the worst of it for you? Um. Probably knowing that Holly's, um, you know, she's got a lot going on and a lot of people, you know, kind of picking on her and a lot of people talking behind her back and saying stuff about her and also um, that people treat me different now because they know this is going on. They see me as, you know, in a different way. How were you seen before? You know, I was a nice guy. It's like they, um, they don't trust me anymore or they don't respect, respect me. So 
So you and Dylan are still mates? Um, yeah, he sort of... We don't really talk that much because he sort of blames me. Now he's getting into trouble, but he sent it to me, so what can you do? As time's gone on, I've seen an effect on Dylan and, and I'm worried about how it's going to affect him. Um, I don't think he really thought at the time that all this trouble would happen because of one action and um, probably thought it was something a lot less serious than it is. What do you think needs to happen to make things happen? I don't think anything can make it right. Like, the photo can't be brought back. Like, it can be anywhere now. I just don't want to see Dylan when I go back to school. Um, I don't think there's anything that can really make it the same as it used to. Well, I think that the photo needs to be removed and like deleted off people's phones and like taken off the internet and stuff. And I think that Dylan should be like expelled. It's a bit late now to fix anything. You know, we've all seen her naked. We can't look and talk to her without thinking about that now. So what? nothing can fix it. I think it's important that through the police, other parents and young people are shown what can happen. Um, in terms of making it right for us, I would just hope that we don't see Dylan too close to our home. I, I'm just hoping that um, her family can move on as best as possible and we can as well. And I f you know, feel that um, at some stage we all will, but it'll be different for all of us. I don't really think that it's uh, within my power or the power of my staff to undo what has happened. But if we're to move on from this in any positive sort of way, there needs to be a very real, uh, uh, very informative program put in place in this school and I would suggest into all schools that shows how destructive, both at a personal and a societal level, activities such as this can be.